This is a presentation and demo on the USB-X Human Interface Device HID Keyboard. The purpose and objectives. The purpose of this training is to install, build, and run an example Human Interface Device Keyboard application on a Renaissance Synergy development board, known as a kit, using the Renaissance E Squared Studio ISDE and Renaissance Synergy software package. The objective of this training is to become familiar with the E Squared Studio and SSP, ensure the debug connection on your board is functioning properly, and build the application on the Synergy E Squared Studio ISDE and run the application on SKS7 G2. Required resources. The example application targets Renaissance Synergy kits, S7 G2, and S3A7 devices. To build and run your example application, you will need a Renaissance Synergy DKS7 G2, SKS7 G2, PE HMI1, or a DKS3 A7 board, known as a kit. For this training, we will be using the SKS7 G2 kit. The PC should be running Microsoft Windows 7 and above with the following Renaissance software installed. The E Squared Studio ISDE 5.0 and above. Synergy Software Package SSP 1.1 or above. And the PC must have at least two USB ports. You can download the required software from the Renaissance Synergy Gallery. The URL is listed here on this page. You can install, build, and run the example application in under 30 minutes. The high-level steps involved are connect the target board, import, configure, and build the project, and run the example application. So let's get started. Connecting to the board. Connect the SKS7G2 J-Link debugger connector from the USB port on your PC to the JTAG connector J19. Connect the second USB connector from J5 to a USB COM port on your PC. Importing, configuring, and building. Import the project into the E Squared Studio ISDE build and debug the project per the Synergy Project Import Guide. Import the project after downloading it from the gallery. We would click on File, Import. We would then select Existing Projects into Workspace. Select the SKS7G2ZIP file. This is after you have opened and extracted your files from the appropriate project. Ensure the project is selected and click Finish. Be aware that if you have a problem with licenses or the project, you may have a grayed out Finish button. Select Configure XML. Once the file has been imported, we can then begin configuring our project. To do this, Double click on Configure XML. The Project Editor screen will appear and we can click on Generate Project Content. Build your project. To do that, click on the hammer. You have the option of running the project build in the background as it will take a few moments. When it completes, you need to view the errors and warnings. Hopefully, they'll be zero. We then click on Debug. In some cases, if the project has not been launched before, we may have to go in and set the debug perspective. Debug is designed to stop at two breakpoints. To continue running, just hit Resume twice. In the bottom left-hand side of the screen, it will indicate running. Running the example application. Open a text editor with a blank document. Make sure the cursor is active in the blank document. The demo application acts as a keyboard and types the characters A through Z in the text editor window at two second interval. Characters are sent out automatically so there is no need for user interaction. Once you have confirmed that this activity is taking place, you can click terminate to close the debugger. So let's run through the demo. The first thing we want to do is import our project. To do that, we go under File and Import. We select Existing Projects into 
workspace. Next. We then want to browse and look for our zipped file that we have extracted from the original project. We're using an SKS7G2, so we're going to pick the SKS7G2 zip file. Notice that it's already selected, and then our finish key is dark. We then open up our project and double click on the configuration XML. That allows us to view the project configuration editor. Once we have that editor up, we can generate the project content. Once the project has been generated, we can go over and use the build button, which looks like a hammer. When complete, we can see in blue that the build has finished with zero errors and zero warnings. At this point, we can debug our project. Notice that it says the selection cannot be launched and there are no recent launches. So what we'll do here is we'll go into our debug configuration and ensure that the USBX HID keyboard debug has been configured. Here, it shows that it is listed, and all we have to do is say debug. When it runs its debug, it will stop at two breakpoints. The first one is directly after the reset handler. Just press resume. The second one is right after main. We'll also press resume. We'll just go down here and we can see in the bottom left hand side that it is running. Next, what we want to do is call up a notepad or some type of editor and we can see that we are receiving keys from the SKS7G2. This confirms that this project is functioning properly. To end this demo, we merely press stop. Did we meet the objectives of this training? Remember the objectives were to become familiar with E Squared Studio and the SSP. Ensure that the debug connection to the board is functioning properly. Build the application in the Synergy E Squared Studio ISDE and run the application on an SKS7 board. Thank you for watching this presentation.